This video is intended for adults and children upwards the age of 14. Viewer discretion is advised. What's going on people? Welcome back to the Nerd Crate. Your Nerdism fix for today is Fans Hobbies God Armor. I know you had several reviews already. I think it was for the purple at Bobby's Skullface and we had the black at Ben's Collectibles. But now, thanks to Fans Hobby, I got a test shot of the regular. Welcome back guys. So without any further ado, I don't want to push this too long because this guy as you see on the runtime is going to be quite long. There's a lot to cover on this guy. I'm not covering the God Ginrai on this one. This is part one. Part two you will see in two days. On Tuesday I will release the God Ginrai continuation for this where you see how to actually unfold all of this, transform it into his parts, and then combine it with Godkin, right? So uh, this guy, of course, is not your usual Transformers G1, just for short. This is the continuation from Victory, Headmasters, Super God Master Force, where the Transformers and the Cybertronians are not as usual as before. They are actually not sentient beings anymore, but they are actually steered machines interesting so with this uh god bomber is actually a combat drone an upgrade drone for super ginrai what to us western people is known as power master optimus prime so yeah i would say since this guy is a big bot once he's transformed or parts formed we head on back this all here way too small Right, and fans hobby did change up their MO a little bit. We got most of it colored in cardboard and it kind of has still a premium look and feel. I think I enjoy that. We got a beautiful picture on the front with MB11, God, Umber, fans hobby, everything on there and some space-like stuff in the background looks kind of warpish, uh, light travel stuff, very, very cool. I enjoy that, looks quite cool. Wrap around to the top where we have the power base all blacked out to show the combination and we have the small junior headmasters very very nice on the back we got a kind of schematic like drawings of everything that's in there and also truck mode uh, like i said power base again a little bit uh, a little bit blacked out and we see the combined mode god can right or since i talked to fans hobby I asked them, guys, like original lore says, God Bomber, Super Ginrai, Max God Ginrai, but you don't have a name for this guy. Power Baser, God Armor, God Baser. Their response, we think that's a fair merger. So if you like, you can call this guy God Baser. Fans hobby on the side, all printed uh, with a dot which you got, which is pretty cool. It's all for that series. Uh, same on this side. And a little nice schmankerl, how we like to say in German. More like uh, Bavarian, but still. When you open this up, you have somewhat, it's also held by a clamshell, we have somewhat a little bit of a di uh, bio biography for this series. Master Builder. Master Builder series to offer transforming robot fans long waiting characters with new concept and interpretation. Also to bring collectible figures in new extended dimensions. That stuff I enjoy. The thought behind it. And uh, I complimented them on that. They enjoyed my compliment. I think that's a great company and uh, yeah. So he comes with a fair bit of stuff. We have a black and white instruction booklet with the same graphics, but it's all black and white, which is a little bit bad. And it shows you everything you need. Everything is black and white and what moves is red and also highlighted with an arrow, which brings you through all the modes, really all the modes and there's nothing missing. I had zero problems only with the stuff that get entangled with each other. Um, so that that worked very well. There's there's everything you need in there. Really. It's a It's an instruction booklet. That's exemplary or exemplary Hmm 
it makes an example. So <laughs> it makes an example and it shows other companies how to actually do it. Like I can understand that X-Transports do that super small, like really that's super small, but uh, I enjoy instructions where you see a lot and it's, this is a flat booklet that brings you through everything and uh, it's great stuff. I enjoy it. It's a great piece, shows everything you need. So there's that. Next part for paperwork, a little card. It's only, it's only cardboard. So they could do a little bit better in this, reg in this regard. I think, I think with the background and with the art, I think, I think lenticular would have worked. I think that would have been great. But good graphics on the front and on the back with some text specs. Actual accessories start with the junior headmasters, which are done very, very nice. We have, most of it is base plastic, red, white, black. And we have a little blue visor here even on the front, which looks nice. So uh, very, very cool. Articulated to the max too, for what they are. We have a 90, almost 90 degree bend on the elbow. We have a little bit of a shoulder pivot due to the ball joint, a little bit of a butterfly. The head swivels left and right. We have an ab crunch due to the transformation a little bit of hip movement to the outside and due to transformation full run on the knee. Um, so there's, there's quite a bit possible. They're essentially all the same as you see, only the color changes and a little bit of detail on the chest, but it's all very nice and uh, you can transform them because this is the second part of those guys and bring this into mini headmasters with this, these little crest pieces, which also have white base plastic, red color and blue on the crest, silver or gunmetal and red on this one and white and teal or light blue on this one. And the transformation is fairly easy. You just rotate this to the back, you fold this up, you fold this up, have this all together and then you rotate him, take the fitting piece, slide it over and you're in business while well ahead and that's the transformation for everything. But this is less interesting than actually this guy because this guy is actually going to be the head for Minerva um, that is coming soon from those guys. I don't know jack about the continuity, but there's the head. And I think uh, those looks very, look very fine. And uh, these are, since we're here, we just complete them. We just complete them. You fold them up. And this is also, it's actually a pretty good idea. This is also how they're delivered to your doorstep. They are all delivered in Headmaster modes. First fair bit of play factor comes with these three guys also and with the fact you can open this guy up. We will show this here. You unpack this bumper. The um, best thing is you just pry your finger in there and essentially tension it apart, bring this down and then you can open up the cockpit. Nice details too, silver in here with some uh, yeah, with some gunmetal too and everything all sculpted well. And once you have transformed these guys again, you can just push them into these little spaces inside the cockpit. Number two. And number three. And not that you think some accessories wouldn't be stored. No, no. You can have their little crests stored in the back here with tension for all three. It's almost a little bit like, I don't know, trophies. Has a little bit of Predator Biomask Shrine uh, uh, kind of flare, I think. So that's pretty cool. And then you close it off and uh, close this up and then you can even have those guys watch through the windows nice touch next up comes this big old gun and it's beautiful we have 
black, gold, silver in between, silver here, gold, silver on the big front, all on the back here too, gun metal with some uh, black kind of, I don't know, fin or ventilation ports. So that's cool with uh, swivel or pivot opinions here and here. And in comparison or in unison come these bombs, which are light gray in color and have temples on here, silver on the front, black base plastic. And you can combine them, put them in, very powerful spring. And you have a button here. This constellation does this, powerful spring. If you put this in, because this looks hollow and you want to have it like a tip and you push this in, safety mechanism, no more firing, super cool. Also, you can store it on top of God Armor's truck mode with this little port here, with a pack here. You just put it in. It's a tight fit, but it'll hold and work well. And you can also have the big gun attached to this port on his shoulder right there where you can pivot it and of course if your little heart desires shoot the rocket. Second to last he comes with these two swords. You got a nice scalp. We have the gun metal here red on the uh, um, on the hilt on the hilt. Silver on the blade itself and black on the hilt too with base black on the on the grip and you can extend it once which I like to call the God Armor mode, but uh, for God Ginraya mode, which we will look into it, of course, too, you can have extended even more. This is all closed off, and when you put some power onto it, you can fold it out even more, bring out those hilts, and then you have this super killer mega sword, which is uh, pretty nice. and. Uh, once you bring it back into this constellation, you can have both of them stored below God Armor. Put them to the side and you have these packs and these ports. And you make sure you want to have it to the back. So these get into these little notches here. Just put them in, apply some pressure, maybe not bring the whole truck apart while you do it and then push it below here to come on girl. And then you have him fully equipped, slides a bit on the ground. It's uh, not the best clearance, but um, yep, works. And besides below the car, the sword also attaches to these ports, which are also, which also double as screw covers. Nice touch. Via this pack in here, one on the left and one on the right. The fit isn't this super good since um, the screws are in there, but uh, it gives them some kind of a samurai. Of course, with everyone, I'm such a doofus. You can, of course, also store those in hand. You have the railing system that Fans Hobby is now using. Um, that works, that works uh, very, very good. Uh, you put either the weapon in here and just slide it down and with the hands it holds it well. And the same also with the sword, or of course, both swords. So um, yeah, so there's that. And this way he is then fully weaponized. And uh, I think that really works as an Autobot slash Transtector upgrade combat drone. There's <laughs> a big name to all of this, but um, yeah, looks good. And after you put all of this in, you have a big play factor in which you pull this piece out, turn it around, then you take your power baser and you already see where it leads. You hook this below here, and then you have all of this. So just so you see what I have to do to have all this in angle, like it's a big piece. It's really a big piece. This is the main feature. You can do it a bit shorter too. In order to do this, after you unplugged him, you rotate this 180. And in order for this to work, you split the back of the cap of power basers cap mode. 
and you just push it in and the legs back together or the back part back together and then you have the shorter butt and you can also work at an angle. Final accessory on this guy is this new hat they brought for Super Ginrai. Um, I mounted it on my power base already for the full review so uh, it doesn't change too much for power baser it's essentially i believe the same head i have it stored in my fat max somewhere i wasn't able to find it sorry guys but um just to show you a comparison that he is very much just filling that out classic uh i showed you before i had this on beforehand this is the marvel g1 head fans how we brought out with the additional hands uh, articulated hands which they later used on the v2 uh, but this head here fits it perfectly we have the same blue teal and blue on the on the on the um, on the whole helmet and on the eyes we have the teal silver on the vents on the ears here and on the shield and uh, looks very very nice and it has an additional mode I'm not gonna show you that. This you're gonna see on the Godkin review. So fully armored up, let's talk about the truck and I think he's cool. Um, he's a little bit wobbly since all the parts need to really fit, but uh, once it does, he looks he looks pretty cool. I think I like him, I think I like him. It's, uh, it's stylized a little bit tongue in cheek, like what kind of a truck is this, you know? But um, the backstory is that he was engineered on the Planet Master for a, uh, for a uh, super Ginrai power up to actually have a better chance in battle against Overlord. So uh, this is it, you see it. There is just, okay, we throw parts in there and we see what comes out of it. Um, but it's, it's cool. I think all the styling is well and it transforms well, it transfers well to the robot. Silver, translucent blue windows, translucent blue on this headlights here, more headlights in gold. We have um, very cool temple paint on front here with white uh, red details in there uh, with some uh, detailing in here that comes in a little bit and more temples uh, gun comes through nicely red on this, these parts come through nicely vents in here temples on here silver white blue on the stripes blue on the fenders quorum wheels with rubber tires excellent uh, these come, the swords come through as kind of exhaust ports, that's nice and it comes through nicely. So a little 360 for you and downside is, uh, yeah, <laughs> he's got two swords below there. But even though you saw the combined form already, here you have them side by side and the guard bomber cap, I would call him, is a significant big, bit taller than, uh, than the power baser truck. I think they look pretty cool together this is more yeah more tongue and cheek but uh, nevertheless i think i think it works and it looks pretty cool so after you took all of this off we get this guy transformed and this is parts forming to the max first thing of business you want to pull all of this out put it to the side for now next thing you really just it, you saw it super easy you just pull this out and put it to the back then you unpack these parts on both sides and take this off. And then we can pretty much start with this. This is a very easy part. This looks, this looks rather cringy, but it works. Push this in and then you can simply unhook it. You unhook it from here and then you can fold this down all of this pull this it's a tight fit so um make sure you grab it good it's a little uneven slider but it works pull it out push the packs into this port here it's a very tight fit but it works times two and then you fold this down onto here very intuitive due to form and colors. Slide this down, slide this up. Make sure you got this packed and otherwise it is a little bit lifted. Then you push this button, pull the foot out and you can unfold this and unfold this. And at the last measure, 
you push this and pull the thigh out. Let's do that again here. Slider all the way out. Fold this down, fold this down, fold this in. Peg it all in, slide this back so you have all of this fitting form. Peg the sides in, slide up, slide down, press the button, slide the foot out, rotate this out, rotate this back, get the cat hair out, and finally push this and what's the other leg? <laughs> As a last matter, I forgot that you can you can center these legs, so um, it looks a little bit more even. Times two, and you're in service. The most complicated part on the whole piece. Now comes the true complicated part, and I'm telling you, I am super stupid with this. Like, we need to split this. This is not the problem. It's also not the problem that you need to unpack all of this. You need to get this out of the way for now. And you rotate all of this out. Obviously the arm. It's pretty stiff, but it works. Once you get a grip for it, there you go. Rotate it around. See this here? That's one half of the head. Grab in here, pull it out, slider all the way to the back. Then we have this bit packed in. You unpack it, swivel it down, pack this in here. So you have the hip already done. Straighten out the hip flap. Nice ratchets. Bring the thigh down. We do it on this guy too. So you fold this out, get it out of the way. You unpack this from this portion here, just slid in, and you pull all of this out. Take the head. I showed this to you in one go for a simple reason. It's just way more intuitive this way. Pull the ah, lower arm out, rotate it. I will leave this way, otherwise I correct it. And then you pull this out, rotate this down, Peg it in here and rotate the thigh. Well, reverse ab crunch here due to transformation and you got this. Since it's growing, I just resituated the uh, camera for a little bit. You have these four pegs and these four ports and you just combine them accordingly to combine the upper body of God Bomber. Then you take the two head helps, the halves, and you combine this two. This is actually the easy part. That works pretty well. Now comes the part I didn't enjoy. We need to combine the front with this cap part. And this is where this part right here broke off on mine here. Fans Hobby have a video on their side to actually on their Facebook page to actually sh show how it is done. I watched it, I still broke it because these guys just get entangled with each other. It's not that easy. We'll try it. What you have to do is to get these canals here and also accordingly on the other side into these or these rails actually in these canals here. And you start by actually doing this. So you start on the lower side, you hold this in rather hard because you need to hold this in place in this position and then you need to pull away the shoulders and plug it in this works actually or this worked now actually very well i'm happy it did this is how it's supposed to go and uh, the head also holds a little bit um, it's not fully packed in i need to make sure of that I didn't pull out far enough. You need to pull this out and then when it's far enough, it clicks into place. This broken off part wasn't a problem. You see, it closes off without problems and uh, that's it for now. 
For the wing piece, you just make sure this is straight with all of this, like with parallel, and you pack this guy back here. And since it's this position on the other side, we try our best and just repeat it here. You saw that I did that 180, pull that around, and put this in here. That was actually very simple. Even higher up now on the cam because of this guy's you going to be huge. You take these legs and you just slide them in to the railing system on the thighs. And you can cover the railing system a little bit so you won't slid out by grabbing these and sliding these up. They don't slide up fully, but to an enough of an extent to counter the railing system. Ninth floor, we're almost there. So you take the hands and you fold out the guns because you have this little pack in... Why is the light so bad? Here, where my finger was. You see where it moved out? This needs to move out. And then you can pull it over the arm. Make sure you have this to the back. And then you put the back portion in here, like so. Fold the arm, put this in, and you fold this all the way down. It's supposed to click in. Oh, now it does it. I swear to you, I just did this a dozen times and it didn't stuck in place. I don't know what I did wrong. I knew the mechanics. <laughs> this is crazy. Like you have this portion, and this needs to be to the front. And you fold this out, you put this in here, and you put this all the way down. Now both hold, this is ridiculous. I just did this a dozen times, it didn't hold. Now, no give. Great fit. <laughs> so let's talk about the figure. After that big shenanigan of transforming and parts forming, we can finally look at that guy and fans hobby sure know what they are doing in terms of color, in terms of tempo, in terms of sculpt. So um, it's very, very, very good. It's a, it's a nice piece. Like some packs won't quite hold together, but I can't forgive it. It's a super modular design. And I think what they, what they did here is uh, actually knock this out of the park. So um, yeah, the face sculpt, Looks fine, uh, very cybernetic. I don't know if he's actually clenching his teeth or if those are his lips, but uh, works great. We have the black or silver, it's kind of a silver. Ah, we have gunmetal on the front here. We have black base plastic, red on the crest here, metallic blue on the eyes and silver on the face, super shiny. Very, very cool. We have uh, temples on the back here from the car mode or the truck mode which comes through nicely uh, and same on the front all of this as was originally lying down while in truck mode we have this on the front now with all the red silver grayish blue metallic and the red comes through very 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 nice i really enjoy that and uh, before i'm going down a little bit hip flaps too are painted and some great temples here on the front uh, the arms got more temples here with uh, quasi Cybertronian markings with red here, more blue metallic temples, silver, red, black, and all of that stuff. Really, really nice, really, really well pulled through, no other way to quite put it. And on the leg it continues. We didn't see these panels before, but it works very well. We have a little bit of a swirly plastic here, a little bit pulled through here and some scratches in here, I think that's due to transformation, but the styling pulls through very nice with the red, silver, metallic, blue, and the silver here. More temples on the feet with red, all in metallic. Uh, the gray portions here. This flap gives me a hard time. This is supposed to stay below here. You heard it click, but it always tends to come out, so that gives me a hard time. It's not too bad, it's not too, um, too unconvincing and all but it's it's okay and we have a little bit of shade of black in here and the lighter blue panels here come through very good uh, dark gray on the thighs and I want to pull out a little bit and here he's from the back so uh, pretty clean Mac to quote a friend of mine 
so uh, I think that's cool. I think that's cool. He looks very good and uh, I would say since you now also got the 360, I don't do extra 360 with my platform over here, sorry. Um, we can also go through some articulation. We got the head on dual swivels essentially since the two halves are on swivels which gives you a fair bit down. But this size should have had way more, but it's fair. A little bit up, so it's a little bit limited. Oh, just the size, so you see it. So there is a good degree, I would say 30, 30 degrees or something. It's a little limited, but uh, that's due to the engineering. I think that's, that's good nevertheless for what he is. Um, we got an actual app crunch to the front and back a little bit, more than other guys got. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, we got the little flaps on the shoulders here. You can move that out and have the arm a fair bit up. You can even stretch it a bit. That's good. Bring that in. Goes all the way around and due to the construction of the arm that tends to pop out, which is always cool. I swear to you, I was just editing the first part where I'm doing this and I was just flabbergasted as to how the arm at first it well and then all of a sudden not anymore like yesterday I was fiddling with this and the elbow worked and now I'm clipping this in and all the time this coming undone this is a bit annoying like all the way down and then yeah it's always coming off this is frustrating this is frustrating it's a it's a great piece nevertheless and it works well for Ginrai for, for, for power Ginrai he got his failures too, but um, overall it works well. But um, that this doesn't hold now. Yeah, I can't, I can't quite show you the, the elbow bend. Like this is now stiff. I can't put this back in. I need to unpack this. But once I put this in and bring this down, it's supposed to have a tensioned, here it is. Here it is gets not the full run, but far over 90 degrees. So um, when it works, it works well. Bicep swivel, sorry for the little rant, but it ha this happened to me numerous times now. Yeah, bicep swivel and we have a ball joint at the, har at the hand, which gives you a lot of articulation, which is super cool. And we have fully, almost fully articulated fingers. We have a ball, pack at the base of the thumb with an extra hinge at the knuckle and we have a hinge joint hinge joint hinge joint at the usual fingers at the, at the rest of the fingers but no spread here since they're all base pinned the hip features a little tiny bit of a waist swivel so if you get this ah if you get this around the the hip skirts it actually works a little better it's a little limited but i think it's all you really need i think that's all you really need you can the, move the hip skirts out of the way and then have a popping of hip skirt and ratchet fully to the front fully to the back and you can pop the hip skirts back in that that works well and we got somewhat of a single or double, no, it's a double jointed. It's a double jointed knee with the first part in here and the second part in here. With this, you get 90 degrees here. And when you continue, you saw that this part moves out and actually gives you the full run on the size of this part. That's quite crazy. Bring this down again straighten it out it all comes a little bit undone he tends to stand cross-legged which is a little bit bad but uh, when you got this all aligned back it, it works and uh, we got uh, we got some sliders on that ankle here and we got a rocker that gets a fair bit it's okay it's okay and actually uh, also a tilt to the front and a tilt to the back. With some interesting engineering, we have a sliding plate in here. It's actually a plate on the, 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 the base is actually fixed on the ball and this in here actually slides. See what I mean? Like on the back here, this comes out and for the front, this comes out. Pretty cool. 
I think that's pretty cool. Like all in all, for this guy, that since he's this super bulky bot, I think he's good. I think he's really good. You just need to fiddle around with the articulation and the tolerances and then and then he quite works. He's, he, he tends to be somewhat frustrating in some departments, but once you actually fiddle around with him and then also uh, manage to make sure everything is packed in and such, you just secure it all, he can be very fun, especially since the looks are this uh, intensely cool. I yeah, just try to pack in this last little plate below there. Now it's in. Now it's in. Now it's closing off. But since we are about closing off, let's see how he actually articulates. Let's check a running pulse, shall we? Let's check a running pulse, as always. Bring the hip skirt up, bring the leg out, bring the foot a little bit to the back. Bring the foot a little bit, uh, the other I like a little bit to the back. Bring the feet pivot up. Ah, uh, yeah, here's, here's the end of the waist articulation. Uh, get the arm out and get him some momentum to the outside, to the back here and then can he actually hold this pose? We will know in a... Oh, we need to... Ah, he actually does a running pose. Quite impressive, quite impressive. And when we bring this all back and bring some tension back to it all and then straighten out the foot. It's also very stiff everything. That's that's of course that's that's kind of a good thing. Let's uh, bring in the gun here to the top. Gonna line the camera on a little bit for you guys. So you got this and then we bring this arm up like he's actually angling with a gun or aiming like this so it is it is fairly it is fairly easy it looks rather good i would say um of course you need to angle it a little bit more so he's actually aiming for something but um yeah i think that's that's pretty good it works it works quite well like i said you, you need to you need to play the tolerances you need to play the tolerances you need to know what you're doing and uh then you can pull out some stuff um but of course as always let's bring him back and this doesn't look quite as much, but here he is with Fans Hobbies Power Master Optimus Prime Power Baser. And he's even taller than him. I would say a good hat. I would say a good hat. That kind of fits. But um, of course, for all, I would say, regular masterpiece collectors, I still had him standing here. Generation Toy Tyrant. Kind of a stable now in my comparison parts um, so they are both a good bit taller like in masterpiece head terms god bomber is good a three to good three to four heads bigger than generation toys tyrant um, and for the storm collectibles guys that are watching my channel also a stable in my comparison akuma shin akuma to be exact so uh, there's a scale for you i think that's that's quite intense i think that's quite intense and uh yeah, it's huge. It's a huge piece. I hope you enjoy it, guys. So there you go, guys. Fans Hobbies MB11 Guard Armor. I brought this back to alternate mode already so we can check out the combined form next up. I hope you enjoyed. It is, he is fiddly. He can be fiddly. He can be a little bit frustrating in some parts, like the elbow pieces you, you saw, you know, um, that, that, that drew down a little bit for my score, but 
it's not bad nevertheless you see it all here i like the packaging it's cool it's something else it's uh reusable yet it's fine i like it that's why i give it a 10 it's also good gets a little bit of a of a library feel again i like that the appearance overall this is god bomber to the max this is god bomber to the max but uh this is a little bit combined with the value for money where I gave it such a high score just because this guy only costs a hundred bucks and you get God Mumber. If you're into that, of course, if you're into that, a very true to form God Mumber that's able to transform, split apart and combine with Super Ginrai. And since you all, and when you already have Power Baser, that's a great package. So uh, accessories, it's all there. Um, I think they, they've done a nice job with this, uh, especially also that they brought the, the three junior headmasters in there. The Tadakara Tomi Legends set, uh, did it have that? They had two. They had two. You uh, see that combined God Genrai uh, in comparison with the God Genrai from Fans Hobby, by the way. Uh, materials are all great, um, but not perfect. Like uh, what I said to you, when you combine the chest with the back, and you get entangled with those little flank pieces you need to come over and those broke off that happened fairly soon fairly soon fairly easy so uh be mindful of that and otherwise um otherwise i don't think when you're doing everything right that i don't think something will break like i like when you when you get these parts uh disentangled and opened up um it sounds cringy but it works really good and it's also heft it's a quality piece it really is a quality piece um, everything else you saw the paint applications are great the articulation is okay for what he is again it's a little limited due to the elbow construction and the fact that you need to clamp it around and then you try to move it and it gets unhooked that's bad that's really bad and that is where some frustration stems from but Otherwise, again, it's it's modular, so there is there is a good bit of forgiving nature. Uh, the transformation engineering again comes into this. Then you saw it all. I want to grab this kind of short because this is already pretty long. Um, robot mode, alternate mode is great, true to form, and excellent. You you see what it's supposed to be and uh, with the paint applications you uh, already get a little bit more of Cybertronium flair to it with the uh, with the tampos and with all that little hooks and crannies that are painted that's beautiful the playability again with that plastic so I'm not repeating that too much and the value for money already spoke about so that's that's how my how my score came down I hope you enjoyed I'm just gonna make this quick if you did, please give me a like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed and I hope I will see you next time, which is Tuesday, when we combine this guy to God Ginrai. Head over to my Instagram if you like toy news. It's currently a little bit slow, a little bit very slow due to the coronavirus in China. Best to you guys, man. Godspeed, get well soon. And I see you on the next video, right? Thanks for watching, people. I appreciate it. Bye.